Thank you to our three sponsors for supporting our podcast. John Russell's Art Caterers and Milltown Pies, who offer fantastic catering services. Alexander Grace Law, who provide modern and client-led legal services. And SBE Furnishings, who offer high-quality furnishings and electrical items at fantastic prices. How are you, Jess? Yeah, good. Yeah, very well. Looking forward to coming out. I don't mean a lockdown. <laughs> Yeah, that's my dog trying to get attention. Thought that was you, Joe. Well, it's usually on a Friday that Gary. Because your hair was rustling as well, so I thought you'd got uh, guests. Something had migrated and nested. Well, when I was, um, I was, I was sat doing my work in, in the West End room, and I'd been writing something down. I put my pencil down, went to do some, went back to write something. Where the, where's my, where's my pencil gone? I was looking for. A, Two or three, I thought, right, so I had to get another one out. And then I, got, I went to go home, I got in my car, I twisted it in my hair, and left it, left it in my hair. <laughs> you, banger. <laughs> like it, a, like a fashion in 80s, eh? <laughs> 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 For girls, Gareth. Yeah. Well. Uh, well. Brilliant. So you have, you have two years at Lower Icebush and mm. it's got 800 runs at 20-ish and 75 wickets at 18s and, you know, have a, have a good sort of solid two years there. You mentioned about Trevor Jones sort of tapping you up for going and proing. And so, you know, what, what, what were those highlights of through sort of, you know, Reed and Elton and Baxenden and places like that that you, that you played? Well, when I went to Reed, uh, there were... There were They'd struggled season before. They were fourth, fourth and bottom at league. Uh, they're like an, an aging team, you know what I mean? They're only uh, Gary, Gary O'Connor uh, and Ben Worsley, who were the younger element at Steve. Steve Rushton, Rushton not playing. Pardon? Steve Rushton. Steve Rushton. Yeah. Steve Rushton were playing. Mick Joyson, uh, Richard Cabali, people, Waddy. Waddy were opening bowling. Um, but I went, I went and uh, the idea were, well, I looked at, I looked at field, I thought, he's struggling a bit at field, we've got to get a lot of bowl them out here. Anyway, you know, uh, but we had a good season. We had a good season. We, 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 we were winning. We eventually won the Rams Autumn Cup. Right. We played at Cherry, Cherry Tree and um, Brian Fielding were there for all, you know, Jonathan Fielding, who pro- yeah. pros and played at uh, Ram, a good, good cricketer. Well, his dad were an opening bowler, a good bowler. Top-notch bowler. He played for Ramley, uh, quick, good bowler, and he played to um, Cherry Tree. We beat Buddy, I mean, semis. Was each pro in at Cherry Tree? He was pro, yeah. yeah. Um, we beat, I think we beat Buddy, I mean, semis. Big John were their pro. Yeah. We beat him. Then at uh, Reed. <clears throat> it was a good game, that big game. That. So we got into the final. Anyway, um, they were, at the final... Um, there were a guy there who came to watch uh, called Gledhill. Now, we ran the Federation, you know, on the 19th Federation, Lancashire. Right. Now, when I went for trials, we were like, with that Federation, I, I, I took, a, took a load of wickets and uh, I didn't bat. Uh, it were dark. So they, they said, Do you want to bat? I said, I'm not batting it dark. No, I think I've done enough with ball. Anyway, I didn't get in, right? Now, a lad called Smith, can you remember Smith? They played at Richton and East Langs. Craig Smith. Craig. Craig Smith, Craig, were uh, played at Federation and, and Gledhill had come to watch him. Good cricketer, Craig. Went went throwing after, yeah. but good cricketer. Anyway, uh, we battered and uh, the pros limited to the, the overs. So that gave me an advantage because I could bat. Now, Brian were a bowler, opening bowler, good, but he was limited to what he could bowl. So we saw him off and then we smashed rest. And uh, I can always remember, I was 46. And I thought, I'm going for it. Boom. And I got caught. Long on. <laughs> Over his head and he caught me. What have you done? Yeah, could have got a collection, like, you know, and got some real money for lads. <laughs> anyway, we, we, got, we got over 200. We got over 200. And uh, then I, obviously I opened bowling to bomb my stint. And 
I got Smith first over, got behind. So that was then finished. I bought me overs, come off, happy days. We, we uh, went back to Reid uh, and Mick Georgeson was captain. Well, they were a portly fella. Anyway, we, we were having a <laughs> celebration at Con Club up road from Cricket Ground and uh, we lifted him onto his shoulders. We, we'd had a few sherbets and we lifted him onto his shoulders, but he was, he was that heavy, <laughs> that heavy, not too rocky. He had a cup in his hand above his head. It's not too rocky, everybody were rocking. And then we said, oh, stop this, so we threw him. And he landed, he landed on cup. <laughs> Thousands of pounds is cut. Anyway, luckily, with some tin bashers, Lucas tin bashers, while they go to them, they were an aircraft knocked it out. They made a right good job of it. He couldn't tell. Nobody could tell. So that was our like, we pushed up. We, we, we won't cut and we pushed up into top four, which allowed you to go into Lancashire Cup. So that was a positive thing, but. Um, Second year, we got. We, I, I didn't. I felt it. I should have left really. They were older. They were getting older. Even still older. They were only, you know, they were only. I say three, 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 like four mobile players. So it were hard. It were hard. So, so sorry, Graham. You so that you think you should have gone after one year well, or after two years? Yeah, they wanted to. Say, obviously, I resigned for another year. But I think, yeah. in hindsight, I'd have been better off. Right, OK, yeah, yeah. But, you know, but you, yeah, so saying, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, you think, oh, they're not going to get better. They're only going to... But yeah. we, we got into Lancashire Cup and we had a little bit of a... But, uh, you know, it, were, it weren't as enjoyable. I, uh, socially, <clears throat> they were very good and, uh, you know, yeah. it was... Yeah. But I didn't really enjoy it that much. Um, right. But one game, right. um, we played back season and uh, Ian Rishton and Stuart Malloy, who, who played at, played for Aslin, they used to play for Aslin. Yeah, and uh, yeah. they said to me, Dream Max, Graham, come go on, let's have a walk right ground. I said, oh, all right. So we had a walk right ground. And he says to us, uh, why, why don't you come why don't you come to Baxinda? I said, why? Said, well, oh, we want you to come to Baxinda. Um the pro the pro who were then, he were I think he were going to play then Stoke. Um he were a teacher. I think he were moving down that way. So I said, Well, well, if you want me to, yeah. But so I went to see him at Baxendon and uh, they were nice, really nice people. Um, so I said, yeah, that'd be good. So I moved up, I moved there to uh, Bash. Was Dave Usher there? Then? No, no, that were after. That were after, after Dave. Good lad, uh, good cricketer, good cricketer. Bush, on that second read year, do you think mm -hmm. that because you'd had some success in the first year and, you know, you'd won the cup, you'd got them into, you know, into yeah, like, well, the last position... After you know them being you know quite low in the league, do you think that the there was a bit more expectation that year for you to sort of push on, and it was a bit more pressure on you? And possibly, possibly, yeah, possibly, I don't know. But as I say, they're getting older. Yeah, you know, players are getting older, and uh, yeah, it's it, it were hard, you know. I mean, when you're bowling, you're relying, you're relying on a lot of me, especially when you know move well away from right hand, you, you rely on people taking. Taking catches behind the keeper. Mm. Although Ben, Ben was very good. Ben, Peter Worsley, that we call him Ben, he was an excellent wicket keeper. He could have played, he could have probably played in Lancashire League, but he, he, he would read through and through, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, Steve Rush. I think, I think it's also worth saying, Graham, again, for Joe's benefit, is that you were very much, uh, you wouldn't go through the motions. You wouldn't just, you know, if you got yourself, uh, you know, a 70 or, or a six wicket. But you got beat. Graham was, a, it, it was the same with football. I played quite a lot of football with Graham. Just in a, we had, you know, we played a Mickey Mouse Sunday league league together, which were great fun. But we played quite serious football up over here mm -hmm. in the first team in a good standard. And I tell you, you know, if if you're in a bunker, you'd bump bush with you. And it, that sort of thing of if if Graham wasn't getting that, I'm not suggesting the other amateurs weren't doing it, but if you if you couldn't see there's some victory coming or, um, you know, we're not just play, playing the next two or three games go, or going through the motions. We have to try and win and we have to do our best. Graham would, you know, he wouldn't be happy, you know, no matter where you are in the league. It's, I've seen that a few times from Bush, you know, you think he's, he's daft as a brush and laughing all the time. Crikey, you know, when he wants to get on and win mm -hmm. a game, he, you know about it. Yeah, back to you, I enjoyed it. 
very homely club, you know, obviously a village yeah. club, but very uh, chairman was brilliant, and president, who were superb. Jim Duckworth, he used to play ex player, chairman, uh, nice, nice guy. Odd, odd man, odd man, odd dust master, uh, but really lovely guy. And uh, it was good. It were, it were hard work because a lot of time, I'll tell you what, ball's been fast first and second slip. And they nicked it and they, they look at each other and gone for four. <laughs> Bloody hell. We're going to have to get a wicked keeper here. My mate would keep him, Richie. Here you go. Great yeah. mate. Great mate. God bless. Um, and we eventually, you know, Paul Swab, Ricky played at Enfield. Uh, Paul. Yeah. Um, he came. Good good keeper. Good keeper. Yeah. And then we, were com- we got competitive, yeah. you know. Uh, and eventually. So you could take um, an overseas amateur. Yeah. So... Uh, we used to get some Aussies, you know, good lads, you know, uh, social as well as performing wise, you know. We had some cracking players, but we won't leave. But I went pro, we won't bugger all when I went. I packed in at pro there, my knee, that injury when I was 21, which we never right. And I, I was bowling like 20 overs, and I'm into about physically knackers you. And my knee was going worse and worse. And one game, I jumped to, to deliver and my knee just collapsed. I went on deck. I took off. My knee went. Phew. Anyway, I decided, I said, look, I said, that's it. I'm going to have to end the season. That I'm going to, well, I was thinking of retiring, like, you know. But anyway, I went to, pra- I went to practice. Uh, it's funny. Up at Baxter, and they have their, uh, the Grindsman's Holt. Between the wall and the field and Holt, there were a bit of a gap about, well, Four foot, five foot. A calf got out of the field and went behind <laughs> bloody hut. So I went behind the hut to get this calf out. <laughs> now you won't believe this. You, know, you won't believe it. As I'm pushing the bloody calf out, I stood on this piece of wood with a nail through him through. Yeah. It went right through my boot, right through my foot. So I'm oh, no. pushing this calf out and this piece of wood stuck to my foot. Like <laughs> <laughs> so I got my other foot on it and pulled my leg off it. Oh, right. Well, I'll tell you what, it was rusty this morning. <laughs> it, fought, it blew up like a bloody balloon. So, right, so I said, I can't play. You'll have to get some pro. I said, I've got state. I've said it. Go. I'm taking coffee. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so they got, they run Lancashire on. And I, I went to watch them. They played at Clitheroe. And they got... Ken McLeod, Jamaican, cool dude, Ken. Left arm, quick. I'm, I'm talking quick. I've been bowling, bowling. Play the all out for Even it last, last man, right? Uh, he was a slow bowler. Eat him on eight. <laughs> and he would come play. Oh, I'm a, I'm a tail ender. You shouldn't be bowling like that to me. <laughs> hey, man, okay. He, <laughs> and he took his middle stump right tight. And I said to the club, I said, right, you need to sign him. You need to sign him. He's, he's going to be released from Lancashire. Get him signed. We'll win everything. He'll bowl a man for that. Well, we signed him. I had a lot of money. And now I, I, I said our captain, there were a possibility of me going back to the lower house to play. But I knew I weren't fit enough. I knew I couldn't, I couldn't play to full potential. And I thought, I'll let myself down here because Lancashire League is a better league. And I thought, you've got to be under, you've got to be right. And I thought, my knee is knackered. So I thought I can't I can't go to Lower House and fail it. You know, it won't be it won't be worth thinking of really. So I said I captain team. So I did a captain team at Baxter. And, and would that have been 86, 87? Yeah, something like that, 86, yeah. 86, yeah. I think it's something like that. Yeah. How did you take the captain, sir? All right. Well, when you've got that big lad ball in here, right? You think, oh, he's gonna, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna destroy him. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't. But he didn't. He didn't. Before he didn't do it. He would be lazy. He was a great bloke, but he was lazy. It, we we played one game at Eby, and uh, he, he bowled and bowled and trickled back to him, and he, he kicked it to, to mid off. Well, we thought he would kick it to mid off. He went. I had to, we had to run after the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Grey lads, that batters went, what, what's it? We're not running. We're not running, Graham. We're not, no, no. Anyway, president, that Tuesday night when I practice it, Graham, I said, I know, I know, I know you're coming with. I said, I'll sit in with you. 
So I said, you got, you got, you got the biggest bollock in you've ever seen. Ooh, what? They didn't half rip into him. But he was getting a lot of money. I mean, them days, he'd be on six or seven grand, which then, it was a lot of money. You know, anyway, he got fired off in the season. But he was a nice guy and good cricketer. Good cricketer. He played for the uh, league, um, you know, he played, they played against West Indies. Um, what's it called? League? Oh, best, oh, top pros. Yeah. Yeah, like the yeah, League no, Cricketers mean, Association. Yeah, yeah I, I went down to that, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, against West Indies as well. I'll tell you a tale about that when I went down to watch. I bought a bat because Ken's obviously West Indies. I said, <laughs> right, I want you to get all West Indies to sign this bat and then I'm going to give it and they'll offer it for charity at Irish League, right? So, anyway, game had finished. Ken come out with Matt. He said he wouldn't sign it. I said, who? Who won't sign it? Vivian Richards. That's all his signature we want. <laughs> anyway, I went, give us a pen. So, I it myself, Vivian Richards. Anyway, we auctioned it at Irish League. It got, it got a fair do. It was a charity, wasn't it? It was a charity. Did it go? They don't know what big No one's any the wiser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, really. We'd had a lot to drink, though. Yeah. <laughs> just, so, just that that little period there, Bush, we chatted about this before over a couple of pints. And to put you on the spot a little bit here, you're gonna be you would have been early 30s then. Um, you know, when your knee is absolutely bollocks, you've you know, your pro in days, certainly in the Ribblesdale League and potentially Lancashire League. Uh, coming to an end. Do you regret not coming back to Law House for a couple of years then? That was only, I'll tell you what I regret. Chris Scott were playing keeper. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And I would have loved to bowl with Chris behind the stump. Yeah. Because I reckon I could have bowled off about two pace. Yeah. Stood up. Yeah. Stood up to it because he was that good. He'd yeah. get me. He he'd would have got yeah. me loads of wicket. Well, you would have done. You yeah. would have got me loads yeah. of wicket because yeah. you just. It yeah. had just been like a leg break. Yeah, yeah. Stumped. And they're yeah. not that clever, are they? Let's be fair. They weren't, no. they? You know, <laughs> no. that's, no. that's a regret. But I weren't fit. Yeah. I weren't 100%. Yeah. And uh, I thought, yeah. well, I'm, yeah. I, I might let myself down. I don't want to let myself down. Yeah. And I don't want to let yeah. race down. You know, no, no, I fully understand it, Graham. I mean, you know, it's, it's still not a criticism that he didn't. But I'm just looking at the side there. Lofty were coming to the end of his career. Mm. You know, there mm. weren't many bowlers that year. I think the the first year that you were captain at Baxton, and I think we had Dodamay Pro. Yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah, with yeah, a good right, side. Yeah. yeah, a good side, and obviously a world class pro. Mm. But yeah, we were yeah. just that all round of short. Mm. Uh, I mean, it's. We look back, you know, you can't look know, back, can I you? Know. But it is something. Yeah. And you, and from there, you were, you know, you went on and did, you know, you, you know, you know, great things elsewhere. It was just a question. I just, you know, why mm. she still had that early thirties. Um, yeah. But you know, we can't look back, can we? And there's no, no point no, having no, regrets about things. You, you know, like yeah, you you think I've thought many, you know, many a time. I'd have loved, I'd have loved to go back. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Good combination, wouldn't it? You know, like two, you know, cause like thinking cricketers, you know, like a bowler and a wicketkeeper bowling like that in in, in the league, yeah. and that would have yeah. been that have been something to watch. Yeah, yeah. it would have been good. Yeah, it would have yeah, been uh, good. But, uh, and Scotty would have loved it. it Scotty would have lapped it up. <laughs> oh, I, I could have had a good drink as well after. <laughs> I imagine. I mean, Jez, it would have been utter carnage with Bush, Scotty, and Stan in those yeah, yeah, yeah. in those changes yeah, yeah, in yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Good cricketer, yeah, Stan. Not, a, not yeah. the best fielder. Did he ever run you out? <laughs> what? Could walk quicker than Stan. <laughs> <laughs> run the game. <laughs> <laughs> right, good cricketer, Stan. Good cricketer. <laughs> back to back to me. Uh, when, um, when we want Lee, I went captain. Bernard Reedy went pro, right? Flipping top, top notch competitor. Ultra competitive, really top notch. My knee were getting really bad. Uh, and obviously, we've got Bernard, so we've got to push for the league. Anyway, we'd played a few games and oh, we were doing we sorry. Nobody were touching us. But my knee were, oh, it was terrible. It was terrible. And I, I said to Bernard, Bernard, I don't know how like, long I can carry on like this. He said, right. He said, David Alliwell's backed in at Leyland. I think you were at Leyland. Yeah, he was at Leyland. They've stopped paying him. <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> right, 
He said, well, give him a ring, give him a ring. So I rings David. I said, Ali, I said, uh, I'm talking to Bernard. What are you going to do? Now you're backed in. Oh, I don't know, Graham. He said, I'm off to wait for offers. I said, well, look, I'm offering you to come to Max Indian. Well, how much, how much are you going to pay me? I said, you get bugger all. I said, I don't get paid. It's only Bernard gets paid. I said, but my knee's knackered. I can only bowl a little bit. I said, I want, we're pushing for the league, Ali. I said, we're pushing for the league. I need a top bowler. I said, I'll bowl a few overs later on. Anyway, he said, uh, right. I said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll come up and watch ne your next home match. Oh, I said, that's very good. Come up and watch. So he did. He turned up. Now I'm bowling, right? Bernard, Bernard had took a wicket. I took a wicket. I had to come off. Put change bowlers on. Fully sort of rat it runs up. So I think we might have still won. But uh, he came in bar after. I said, right, right, Ali. I said, what do you think? Yeah, you do. You need me. I said, I told you we need you. I weren't joking when I said me need you. He said, I said, we He signed. He signed for us, right? He signed for us. Oh, I thought, real do. But Ali, we're another one. Ultra competitive. He, 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 hammered the, he hammered the umpires. Oh, they were horrendous. Anyway, <laughs> and my leg's bad. Right? So we played a few games and uh, my leg was I said, look, I said, I'm not going to have to play next week. Bernard, were you captain team? I said, I'm going to have to give it a rest. And it just happened that Burnley were playing Stockport County at Wembley. <laughs> well, I managed to book a seat on bus from Core Club. I'm going out. Anyway, I got back. Bernard rings me. Graham, I've had to send Ali off. I said, you what? <laughs> he said, I've had to send David. Ali well off. He was cursing at umpire. He, I thought he was going to eat him. <laughs> He claimed for an LB, we're never out. We're never out he's gone, he's gone banana, he's gone ballistic. They've had to send him off. So anyway, I thought, Jesus, I, I missed one game and this happened. So I went back on Tuesday, Tuesday practice. I said, uh, Ali, come here, come in, come in off, come in office, changing rooms. What a word. I said, what, what happened? Oh, I said, he said that bloody umpire is, is useless. <laughs> he always played him. I said, well, Bernard had to send you off. He's mad as out now. Bernard's really mad at you. I said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. And I told, I told Chairman, I said, I'll sort it. I said, I'm banning you. You what? I said, I'm banning you for one game before league bans you because I'm going to have to go up in front of league this week. He said, you're going to ban me for one game? I said, yeah. We only play in Oswald Twist and Manny a little Saturday. I said, we can beat them. We're off a team. Not in the league. He said, good thinking, Bush, that. Good thinking. <laughs> We played bloody Oswald Twist all the week. We got bloody beat with him, didn't we? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. I went. I'll learn you. But we went to a meeting, and Arthur Shaw, who was president at Lee, uh, he was chairman at uh, Blackburn Northern Cricket Club. I goes in, and he was good. Um, I got on really well with Arthur, because I captain league team there. And Ali, I got Ali to play for league team, and he, he was exemplary when he played. He got one. When I said, uh, right, Arthur, I said, uh, before you said anything, I said, the club's banned, banned him. We don't uh, condone this sort of attitude. We banned him. Well, Graham, that's superb, he said. So we don't have to do anything now. I said, no. I said, we banned him. We think that, but I said, if he, if he does it again, we'll have to reprimand him more. Anyway, we were all right after that. He said, yeah, he was good for the league team as well, weren't he? I said, oh, no. <laughs> so, but I'll tell you what, that year, uh, we, we got him playing again and it, it was great. Uh, but we, 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 we got beat against bo uh, bottom of the league and we lost a great couple of games. So we went off top of the league and it, oh, we were sick, we were, because we should have we walked it. Anyway, we got into it last weekend of the season and uh, Bernard had broke his finger. So we did, we, for two games, with Saturday and Sunday, weather, weather weren't really good. Uh, but... We got Neil Johnson. Can you remember Neil Johnson? He played for yeah, North Accrington. Yeah. Good uh, yeah. all round. I think he was South Africa yeah. or Cracking yeah. lad. Cracking lad. And we played against um, Ribblesdale Wanderers up at Ribblesdale. Oh, it was like a pudding. Right? It was like, like a quagmire. And uh, he's bowling, Johnson. I, I said, he bowled about five overs. You're coming off. And it was good. And I said, you're coming off. I'm bowling. And Ali, Joe Scuderi were there, sub pro. So they're a top line sub pro. Yeah. He always got runs as well. Every time he's sub pro, he always get like 100. Anyway, 
flipping it, we did him. We rolled him. Anyway, Johnson came in, I got at three, and we had a lad called Graham Vimparney. Now, Graham Vimparney went on to play for Victoria. He was, that, he was quality. They knocked him off. So we won't game. All other sides in the league rained off. So we won't game. So it went into last last game of the season. Great Harwood, up at Great Harwood. Weather, weather was so poor. Anyway, Blackburn Northern, who were top of the league, they got rained off. So they were celebrated. Now, we're off the field. Terrible weather's bad. Okay, and all, okay. You know, Scott, okay. Australian. Yeah, yeah. He was there, bro, right? And a lad called Uche, Hutchinson, who played for Richton, uh, yeah. a friend of mine. Paul Hutchinson, he's, he's up the road for us once or twice. Yeah. Well, he was, right, he was their captain, but he were, he were injured, but he was there. So they're in bar. So I goes in bar. I said, what are you doing? He said, oh, here he I said, well, what if it st- stops raining? Yeah, we'll be, they'll be out. If it stops, we're back on that field. Well, I'll tell you what, it stopped for about two minutes. Woof! <laughs> out they went. I said, uh, we, with, a, with another sub-pro, uh, Josh Marquette, who yeah. played as amateur for Clitheroe, but I'll tell you what, when he was playing, he was quick, he was big, quick, and he bounced it. He, he only got one wicket, I think. Ali took five. Anyway, we went off for rain. I were out, our John were out, Vim Parney out, and I said to Vim Parney, because he got Josh, I said, uh, can he, uh, can he bat? He's like, I said, can he bat? No. I said, never mind, he's next in. I said, hey. I said I'll tell you what it is, Cock, it's massive. I said, 20 overs, we need to be about 60. I said, you know what you're going to do, aren't you? He did it for four. I said, okay, he's only going to come off two paces. He told me, hit him for four, then push the rest back. And he did. Exactly. He'd smack the ball for a boundary, push the other back till we got to 20 overs. And then we come off. We won it. The chairman, the chairman, chairman of Blackburn Northern, he sat in his car. They'll all celebrate. We won it. He's going, she's a yeah, he's going, he's berserk. He's going berserk on the sideline. <laughs> Do you want me to go on to Radio Lancashire? I said, uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Uncle. So I sat it back. I said, well, I must, uh, I must say, uh, my commiserations to Blackburn Northern. It's been a very hard fought league, but I think the best sides won it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, well, I'll tell you what, I'm towing. Oh, all lads were back to it, club. We'll have a a good session, you know, we cut any uh, gym do and they had won it for quite a lot of years. Night, a lovely cut. Uh, and I said to Jim Duckworth, I said, Jim, my granddad, my grandfather had died that. I said, uh, my grandma was stopping at our race. I said, uh, do you mind if I take this cup back home to show my grandmother? I said, my granddad, before he died, said he'd be watching down on us. So I took it home, right? I took it home, I put it front window, right? Show my grandma, put it front window. Jim got with who with chairman got broke into that night, but the cup was here. So they couldn't find it here, could they? The thieving <laughs> bastards. You tell me they need to win it. Cup, were they somebody? I bet it was Blackburn Northern Lot. Something cool. Brilliant. <laughs> hey, this straight that. Yeah, That's yeah. a nick cup. Uh, I give it to them back after that. You know, good to me. Yeah. Bloody hell. I, I to, uh, but I was doing I'll tell you what, that period then I was doing a lot more coaching, cricket with kids. Yeah, I'm going to come on to that. Where, where, at what point did actually that start? And and because you did it a lot, didn't you? Yeah, you know, winter as well. And well, I went down at Reed, right? They wanted me to get involved, obviously, with under 18, which I, well, I were. I were, I were down with. But I thought I, I really need uh, some formal um, course, coaching course. So I did. I did uh, the first one in advanced, um, and that got me into coaching and. Uh, you know Terry Holt. Can you remember Terry Holt? Terry Holt played yeah. for um, when when Ralph Stall won't be Terry Holt played for him. Anyway, yeah. he he was a senior coach, and Terry he'd like to get me. Well, he asked me. You know Lancashire schools do sell residential courses over at Fians because uh, they had a good indoor facility. Uh, yeah. Under yeah. under thirteens and under fifteens. Thirteens were like Christmas. Fifteens at Easter, and uh, I just passed. The course, and he, he rung me up. He said, I want you to coach with school, like schools. Well, I said, Right, but I, I'm not that much experienced um, coaching on that at that level. You know, you're talking best kids in Lancashire, aren't you? Or oh, they're supposed to be. But so he got me into it, basically. And um, I was getting more involved 
you know, so we're doing Lancashire schools and then how we're doing clubs and stuff. But um, it, it, it were enjoyable. You get us good satisfaction out of seeing kids improve and, uh, you know, you can see it. And, you know, they smile and you, it's good. It's good. And um, so I get more and more involved. And I was coaching two youngsters from Elton over at Quakes. And the, fa- the dad said to me, uh, Graham, do you know of any... Um, uh, w- w- well, they said, what a tower club we need, a coach who can play, um, but we want a coach. We have a lot of youngsters. We have about 70 youngsters and we want a coach. <laughs> so I said, I recommended a few lads, you know. Uh, but then they said, well, would you not be interested? I said, well, mm, yeah. Well, yeah, I'll come over. I said, but I'm thinking, again, I'm thinking of retiring. I would, I were definitely going to definitely and just coach a bit. Anyway, I went over to uh, Elton and uh, spoke to him. And well, they would. I said, look, Jim, and he, he said, Graham, yeah, uh, just a that. But first game we played, we played at uh, right, poor, poor ground here, Black Rod. No, not Black Rod. No, Little Alton, where Madassa used to play. Little Alton, flipping it. What a set in reprobates they are. Flipping. Anyway, I'm batting like six. I thought, oh, flipping heck, I've come here to bat six. And I looked who were batting before me. Anyway, I stuck it out and we won. It, it, weren't, an, I, it weren't a big score, it were under 100, but it were our draft. Anyway, I said to him, like, look, if we stuck for an home, I'll home. I was away. <laughs> and eventually, like, I got, I, I wore my way into bat proper. And it were all right, you know. And in the first season, uh, we got through to Rami Cup final at Atherton. And uh, nice, nice ground, other lovely ground, good wicket, cracking wicket. Um, and we played Daisy Hill, Daisy Hill, yeah. And they're pro, I were opening batting, but they're pro, a lad called Cumberbatch, uh, a left arm, but he swung it like, it was like a bloody boomerang. It was, it was a good ball, yeah. When I first saw it, I played against him in the league, he's hard work. He's, anyway, we cup armor opening batting, we we bat first, I thought, and he bombed me somebody, he was swinging away. Uh, I thought, well, sorry, I'm going to attack. So I did. I took 70 off his first 20, 20 over, there were 70 odd. And then I got Michelle out of the doors, his son. I've had a real under runner. But uh, we, we got enough runs. We, I, I didn't have to, we had enough, but we had good bowlers. And not only that, with Darren Foy, who were pro, Darren proed for Padian. Yeah. He, good, he, he was a very good all rounder. He could bowl quick, he could bowl spin, and he could bat. And um, mm-hmm. Ashworth, and I, I don't know if you played against him. He played for Ramsbottom, but he proed. He proed for Elton the season before. Big left-hander, 80 miles. So I'm out. They have to come in. Well, we did too well. I went, oh, they're in. I'm just not bad. I'm not bad. He's like that. They, they come, they come to, they were, that. we were too good for them. What, what we got, right? They give, it, they give me a man at match like. So we got, I got a collection. I got man at match. So they give me, I got some more money. So we all went back to Elton Creek Club. I bought curries. We all had a curry apiece out at money. We had a ring. Oh. Doing Shelly had to drive home because I couldn't, I couldn't drive. I was, I was allowed to drive. She had to drive. She always had to drive home from me. I'm going to say there's a running team here, Bush. Uh, she, she's a good driver. She's a good driver, you know. Drives around Bend. <laughs> so we did, we did well. We did well. We, you know, uh, it was good. First season, first season, we won't go. You know, and then uh, we, you know, we, what did we do? We, we, we won't call. And then that were, my knees were going out in operation on me a couple of times. And um, I played, I, I couldn't go and watch. They were still, right there, I'll tell you what, they were still paying me to coach, but I couldn't go. And Jeff, my mate, he said, Graham, Graham, just, and Jeff, just, just come, just come. We're, we're still paying you. We're not, we're not bothered. Because when you're right, you, you'll play. I said, yeah, but I said, I can't do it. Watch, I can't do. Anyway, I said, what I'll do, I'll I'll play it settings if you want me to. Would you? We'll just play it settings and bring kids on. I said, well, yeah, yeah. So I, I dropped into seconds and played with settings. And uh, we, we get we eventually, we were getting them into the first team, you know, young ones. And then uh, it, it got, they were in a lad called Hall at Pro. Uh, he played for Cheshire. Played with Langs, twos. Then he went to a Cheshire. Um, Chris Hall, spinner, bro. And uh, they, they got through to the final at Cross Cup again. But I went seconds. Anyway, they said to me, uh, right, 
we want you to move up and play it first team, but final. I said, no. I said, there's no way. I said, them youngsters who are up there, they must play. I said, no, I'm not playing. They play. He said, no, no. One of the youngsters is on holiday. There's a position and we want you to play. I went, well, that's the only reason I'll play. And I, so I hadn't been bowling. I went bowling around. anyway. We didn't get many runs. I think probably about 140 or something. We could, played at Clifton, and that's a sloping pitch, narrow. Not good. Anyway, we bowled. Um, the captain got injured for, for Elton. He got injured during the match. I don't know if he had broken or what. Well, he, he went off, injured. So I said, right, I'll, I'll take over, take over. So uh, we were... The, Jonathan, Jonathan, for, uh, well, their pro. It were a local derby, this. It were Elton against Walsh, just down the road. So they had you know, they were a coach, a coach like where I were, but he were fit, and I were. And, and Jonathan Feeling, who, who's a good cricketer, yeah, yeah. good cricket. So he got, oh, they, they were batting steady. So I said, right, right I'm going to come on. I'm going to bowl my spell of overs. I think we got about eight, eight overs. I don't think we bowled 10. I think eight. Anyway. I got Jonathan out straight away and the coach straight, boom, boom, boom. I don't think coach right to give him LB. He wasn't tight, but he gave him. Anyway, it didn't matter. Off your pop. Anyway, <laughs> I took I took four, I took four wickets straight away. So it got down. Last pair in. Last pair. We've a chance of winning. I'd bowled my spell. I had to come off. They won it last over. I was pissed off over. But I said to him, right, we all went back to the club, drank your sorrows. I said to chairman, right, next season, I'm moving back up for seconds. I'm captain first team. I said, and we'll, uh, we'll win it with, with, with these kids. I said, Bert, I said, I want a see a, an experienced pro. He said, well, who, who you want? I said, all right. So I run back to the chairman, who uh, had changed then, Johnny Pud, Johnny Pud with chairman. I said, Johnny, who's, who's the pros? What? I'm not pro in like Chile next season. He went through a few names. Oh, no, I'm not. Have you got any English? Do you have any English, lads? Yeah, Dexter. Dexter Fitton. Oh, right. I said to our chairman, that's the man. Get Dexter in here. So they were only senior players, me, Dexter. All the rest were youngsters. Anyway, but we didn't win link for season. I couldn't, we had to bat first. We couldn't, we couldn't chase because of youngsters. But if second season, I said, right now, we're going, to, we're, going to, we're going for the league. And we won it. We won league. And uh, it was superb because... The kids, when I started coaching, were playing it first team. So it, that's the best thing what could have ever happened. The kids, what you've been looking after, come through and done the business. And sponsor, right, sponsor, the week before, I spoke to him and uh, I said, hey, right, what, what are you going to give us if we went league? He said, I've already sponsored you. I said, no. I said, well, when we went league? He said, I'll give you another £1,000. I said, I said, right, if you give us another £1,000, that thousand pound, I will tell committee it has to be spent for youth development, whatever youth development. Anyway, we won't leave. <clears throat> I said to him, right, get this billboard down here, his advertising board. And you know, you you sat there for for your photo, we arms folded. I put billboard up in front of his legs and very press. <laughs> we can't take that photo. I said, Well, you won't get a photo if you don't take it. <laughs> I said, take it. I don't, oh. I said, and they went, no, so we had to knock it, we had to knock it down. But I said, what I did, all sponsors, we get the presentation now. Every different sponsor, we put their board in front of us, and they all got a, a framed photograph of team with their sponsorship board. A bit of public relations, isn't it? A bit of bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> bullshit works wonders, doesn't it? Good work, good work. So that was basically that we won't leave. I said, right now, I'm gonna finish. And my mate Jeff, who's chairman, he says, I've just put young lads into third team league. What? He said, we need two experienced players to bring them on. I went, you're joking. I can't walk, me. So I did a play for him for two years. And we won't, we won't leave him cut with them. It was superb. Yeah. It was, yeah. What age did you want to there, there Graham, with Elton? How old were you when, when you finished coaching there? Oh, 50 odd. I, play, I played with that Lancashire, but you know them Lancashire fifties. Yeah, I played with them for two two seasons, and then I got that were it. So I'll be fifty two, and um, so about fifty odd. But I still coached over there, even though when I, I'd finished. Right. Um, in winter, you know, I didn't do as much in summer. Uh, but I, yeah, in winter I used to coach for winter for them. 
But I don't do much now. I'm, I'm not, I've just got rid of all my stuff. Fact, <laughs> you, you can't. <laughs> so I have a special uh, up for all my cricket stuff. <laughs> you know, <isn't> <laughs> but if Laura Ace wants all them plastic bats, you know, quick cricket bats, I'll give kids, right, up, up the street, these young kids, they go down Laura Ace, so I'll give him a set. Windy cleaner's son, he started with them little tots. I've got a set ready for him. When Windy cleaner comes in, he might not charge me then, but Windy. <laughs> I've got a set for that. Uh, our, our Jack. Yeah. Our Jack, he's got, he goes down, doesn't he? Yeah. He's a bit timid. He's a silly bit. But he can play. Yeah. But he's only he's only really young, though, isn't he, Bush? I mean, uh, yeah, how old will he be now? Five. 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 Yeah. And he was down, not, it was down the year before when he was Yeah, four. yeah. Oh, when he was two, I didn't ball in it all way. He ball <laughs> all way. Hey, I'll tell you what. Right? I said, uh, I got my I got my phone. I said, I'm going to video you. I said, just just ball one for me now. And I pressed wrong button and took a bloody photo. Of it. <laughs> and I said, Oh, I've cocked it up, Jack. I said, Get back and do it again. He said, No, I'm not doing it. No. I said, I, I wanted to make a photo. Hey, but they sent me some right, and he's in his back uh, garden. And they have a bloody uh, glass, and he's he's whacking ball, boom, he's bouncing off, bouncing off wall. He's hitting miles, he's hitting the miles like, and he, I mean, he steps back and boom. Oh, I'll do, mate. You're going to be a slogger like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great, Bosh. That's that's great. Um, yeah. So I, I I'm not sure if there's uh, if there's much more you you know you can regale us with it or whatever you know we can we can dip back in uh, into different time etc. But I mean going through from early seventies to uh, yeah. you know in your fifties and and playing for Lancashire over fifties etc. I mean that's a it's a stellar stellar uh, career in both amateur and professional ranks. I'll tell you I'll tell you a couple of tales right when I was playing for Burnley Greg Hayes went pro for us. I don't know if you can remember Greg. South African or Rhodesia. He might have been a Rhodesia. I get mixed up with him. Anyway, uh, Radford were bowling, you know, and he pretty sharp, Neil Radford, right? Well, when I was going out to bat, Greg says, when he's running in, you say, you crew up to us, you mad supus. <laughs> I went, what? He said, just say that. So he's running in to bowl, and I said it, and he stopped in his tracks halfway, halfway his run up. And he, cut, and he walked up. He told, to, he, told to say, he told me to say that. I said, never mind, get back to your mark. <laughs> Flipping, eh? You should have seen that ball come down on me. He whisked past me, oh, gee, let me bowl that over. <laughs> I said, what was said? And, uh, I can't repeat what I've said. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. I, don't know. I said, Greg, you shouldn't have told me. So, wow, that's horrible. <laughs> about his mum? As well. About his mummy. <laughs> about his mummy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> right, right another, another right, another one, right? And this is not this is funny, this is this is serious. This. How umpires can cock up because I have umpire, you do make mistakes. We're playing great tower, right? And they had a, a pro called Aworth, Australian, left hand bat, a very good player, got a lot of runs, a lot of runs, left arm. Ken McLeod is bowling it, what's his left arm over, bowling at opposite end to me. I gets his ball, slanting across Aworth, and he follows it, he goes for it. Nick. Nick, second slip, catches it here. Umpire. Well, we all goes up. Everybody. Umpire. Not out. Not, not, not out. How can it not be out? Anyway, so I didn't say nothing. Well, it peed off. Anyway, ball up, finished over. Ken comes on. He's balling at that. Top. I goes back to ball me other. He said, Graham, he said, um, that ball deviated off the footholes. I said, he's bowling from the other side at wicket. Have you not noticed? He went, oh, Oh, I made a mistake. I said, yeah, I think that. <laughs> <laughs> he was pretty, he was one of the best batter in Lee. I would have known him. <laughs> Another time, mate, my first time I went back to um, to read when I was at Bash. Keith Parkin, Kitsy, can you remember Kitsy? Yeah. Keith Parkinson, right? I worked with him. Well, he didn't do so much work neither. He's umpire at my end. Jack, I don't know his really second name. He's at Square Leg. He was from Nelson. He wasn't very good at umpire. I said to Paul Swart, right, right, Paul, Steve Russian's batting and Mick Joyce. I said, I want you to stand up to Steve. I said, he'll charge me. He has an habit, he charges you. And if, if it beats him, he'll, he'll, he'll kick it. I said, he'll charge me, but he'll ball and leave him. He sort of stood up. I bowled it, cracked it, he couldn't wicket, missed it, boom, stung. And we all looked, 
Jack's looking the other way. He went looking at Wicky. He was looking upfield. I said, Jack, still out, still out. <laughs> not out, not out, right? So we're like, anyway, I'm bowling Mick Georgians. So Mick Georgians at my end. I smacked him right up. Bars. He was, was slap banging front, right back, right back. How is he? Kits, eh? Not out. He's worked all week. He wants a bat. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to cut this. I said, I'll hit you. you. <laughs> I went bloody pro. That's two wickets that I've lost. For no runs. Not only that, I'd have got straight into others. That's how some idiots they are, aren't they? Eh? Brilliant. Yeah. Bloody hell. Ah. Kits yeah, yeah, good fun. Good fun. Back in now, first. Come mute, Jez. All right. Dog running. Uh, but just one little story, Graham. I mean, we used to have some uh, good fun. Graham used to have this little green minute that oh, right. Graham would drive to games and then Shirley would drive home. <laughs> but midweek, Bush would always, you know, because I'm, uh, you know, a bit younger than Graham, he would always be in winter or wherever, trying to get some indoor nights, trying to get some practicing and some training. And he would always say, "Jess, do you want to come over and we'll have we'll have a net here or we'll have a net there." And can you remember that time, Graham? I think we went to Hindburn. You took us over. And Graham Fowler were there, Dave Parsons and yeah. Trevor Hatch. And so, you, you know, I'm sure everyone's heard of Graham Fowler. Dave Parsons, fantastic cricketer, pro yeah. in the league for Accrington and played for Langton. Mm-hmm. A bit less than Fowler. And Trevor Hatch played at yeah. Church and Accrington. Good cricketer, you know, all a bit older than me and Graham's sort of age. And Graham Fowler starts winding Bush up to bowling at Trevor Hatch. And it's indoor net. And Trevor Hatch is playing a little bit of a cameo innings. So Graham, I'll never forget it, bowled off about 14 yards and stunned him. <laughs> Just put his head out of him. Can you remember that, Graham? Yeah. I should have messed him Because he kept taking the place. I'm lucky. Well, we, we used yeah, to... Um, I'll tell you what, you know, Jez. When um, the first season I went pro in... First year hung us up. Um, he said, Right, he said, Now you're pro in Italy. He said, Us pros round here, we have a, we'll have a net. So it's a good, good, le- you know, it's a good standard. Yeah. Kevin Lace, yeah. he, he was pro. Uh, yeah. Kevin pro at Maxington as well. Good player. So there were a few of us who used to have a net. And, uh, and it were a good crack as well because they're all very social lads. <laughs> they yeah. all liked a good yeah. drink. So yeah. it were a good crack. But that got me into it as well, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and we had to call it Martha and Grange on way back. Ah, ah. Ah, we were all fine. That lost it. Oh, yeah, it was some funny. good news. Ah, uh, well, yeah. yeah, it was. It was, uh, it was fantastic. You left any talk for this, eh? Hey, well, oh, no. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you another tale. I'll tell you another tale. Uh, should come to me. Uh, ex- can you remember Express Cup, what we used to have? Burnley yeah. Law House, Nelson Cone. Down at Law yeah. House, we played in bottom corner. <laughs> yeah. In bottom well corner, before right? that, Joe. Yeah, yeah. They were sort, they were sort in fainting. Peter Scape and Swift there. They legged it out at dressing room, right across field, and died in on them. They were up facing. They were funny as out, it were. They were up facing, did it? Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think Law House might have won it that year. Is that the, was that the time? I don't think so. This was no, that, that was a lot later, ninety five. Oh, yeah, they played. I mean, Express Cup probably sixties, seventies, eighties, and it stopped mm. for a number of years, yeah, and stopped, then they yeah. resurrected it for a, only for a couple of years. I think, guys, you were captain for a couple of years, and then it stopped again. Yeah, they don't do it, eh? No. Well, like uh, what is it, Burnley Express? Like you, you, you could get Burnley Express or put, put football and cricket or. Every old break down, it was so good, yeah. yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, it's just knackered, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing about it. Four runners are like T20 almost, that weren't it? 16 yeah. overs or something, and yeah, yeah, all four yeah. overs a piece, and uh, yeah, that were it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, these are you know, uh, and I think Brom played up down there, I played up down there, um, and all right, you see, guys get bollocks for, for not netting. But I said, look, it's better playing up town. It's competitive. Wickets are not as yeah. good. You know, you've got to adapt. Uh, yeah. you know, and Brom, I think Brom did. Yeah, did, yeah. yeah. There are a few. Actually, they, and yeah. there were quite a lot of good cricketers 
played up time. Yeah. They come from uh, Tom Marin and uh, yeah. Rotten Stall. They play. Everybody play. And I used to go, Aki, Aki League. That were good. Yeah, you took me over there. Bit better wiki, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you took me over there, Graham, to play for yeah. a season. Yeah, it was good. Good crack. Yeah. As the dairies we played for. Yeah, that's all right. Daisy dairies, yeah. Yeah, we did, huh? <laughs> they weren't a bad side, were they? No, no, I forgot about that. Yeah. Bloody hell. Remember the days. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a long time ago, though, isn't it? Bush, fantastic, Graham. Fantastic. That's good. That's pretty good, Graham. I mean, I don't know if you have much more to uh, tell us about. I don't, I don't think so. No, I think that's about it. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a good... Had a very, quiet, a very quiet career. <laughs> <laughs> that's great coverage. There's not many who we've uh, we've had on you, obviously, a lad like Sir Stan and Iggy who, who played sort of... And there'll be people listening to this podcast and a lot of the the, set, the editions we've done have been in the last sort of 20 years and, and 25 years and so But to go back and come through the 70s and early 80s like that, we mm. haven't had many, many guests on who... Mm. Oh, so, bastards! No, no, it'd, it'd be great for a lot of people who listen who can. Oh, they'll hear names and they'll be able to relate yeah. to those times. You know, it's yeah, been they will, yeah. it's been fantastic. Like Charlie Griffiths. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, your career then beyond law rights, I think, uh, and just people just finding out exactly what you did and, and and how things panned out. So that's great. So, Joe, have you uh, you anything that you wanted to ask Bush that we've not gone through or add on to? I don't. I don't think so. It's been really interesting to it, a lot of the questions that have been asked tonight, uh, and even questions that weren't asked. Bush has sort of answered. When I've looked at, I'm a bit of a geek. Bush, as it's well documented, I guess. And when I looked at your stats and looked at when you played for Burnley and then when you came to play for Lawrence, I did always wonder why you never, why you'd never come back to Burnley, and I never asked uh, why you didn't come back to Law House, and I never asked why, um, why that didn't happen. So it was really interesting to hear. How that was. I think it'd be really good as well if we had like a 1982 podcast, you know, where <laughs> you'd have Bush yeah. and Alan Alden on and Stan and others to try and discuss that. And Iggy to discuss that se- yeah. season because yeah. it was oh, clearly a good team. One, you'll not, you'll have to, who was? Iggy. Iggy would be all, don't have to cut this way. Iggy were batting right and it, then at Law House and it, it, were, it were difficult, wicket work was struggling. And he, come, he got out and he come back into the dressing and he said, that's the worst wicket I'll, I've ever played on, and somebody will get killed. And we had all to go into battle. <laughs> and I, I said, you know what I said? I said, hey, yeah, you're the best shit wicket player I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. 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 And Jez, have you you got anything that uh, we haven't gone over? The I, I know there's certainly no more questions. It, it's been fantastic, Graham. It's been a pleasure to play cricket with you and to know you, you know, like as we have done here, and you know, to get this, uh, as Gary says, to get this recorded for other people to listen to. I really appreciate it, Flora. It's keeping a lot of people going in lockdown. So, Bush, thanks very much. Let's it's hope we can have a pint in Green in Green Hill soon, and then I will see some cricket soon. Uh... Cheers, Hello. Graham. Thank you. No problem. It's been great. Thank you. Yeah, that, and that, that's great. Thank you for having me. That's Even no problem. Even though it wasn't belated. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, that's great. And, and just the same for me, really. It's been fantastic sort of catching up on and filling in some of those gaps that I'd heard bits about. You know, I mentioned mm-hmm. on the podcast before it was you that, that actually pushed me to go down Law Ice in the first place when I was mincing around. Um, mm, that's right, yeah. Doing, yeah. doing out, so... Again, thanks for that. So, um, enjoy my right, that's great. Thanks, Graham. Cheers, uh, mate. Uh, fantastic. Have you turn this off? <laughs> <laughs> get Shirley back in now. <laughs> get, get Shirley back in. <laughs> I bet she's asleep. <laughs> Send more house to save the house.